something that you're convinced. Yeah. So you can believe either by faith or by evidence or some other logic or philosophy, whatever you prefer. Right. So what do you think is belief? Let's, let's just point you the word belief itself. Then. Yeah. What do you think is belief? I gave you my answer. What's yours? Well, every believer is a liar. So do you believe or you don't? I don't do belief. So what do you I do? I either know or I do not know. If I do not know, I say I do not know. Fair enough. I'll find out. Every belief is a liar. Yeah. The word itself is in the word belief. Everything you believe is... You say everything you believe is a I lie. I think he's, he's talking about the term belief in the sense that you're not sure. That's what he's assuming the as the term belief. The word belief is B-E-L-I-E-V-E. -E -E. Yeah. In the middle of the word is lie. In the middle of the word is I lie. So every belief is a lie. Why don't you say I know it? Yeah, I know that if And I if you're not sure, what do you do? You say, I don't know. I do not know, that's all. Yeah, but when you say, I, I, don't, don't, even want to, I do not even want to go by faith, you say that faith is assurance of things you do not see. Okay, do you exist? I'm here. How do you know you're here? Don't you touch me? No, not me, you yourself. How do you know you're here? Do you want to touch me? I know I'm here. Do Ta I need, I do, do I need, need no How do you know, not me? How do, do so you if you ask, you're you asking me. Do you show your document, you say that is me? No, but how do you know you're here? You could be in a matrix. You could be a. Yeah, I'm in a matrix. You, that's you, true. You, you could be a. I'm in a matrix. You, you, you could be a brain in a jar. Yeah, that's possible as well. No problem with that. Is that possible or yeah. is that certain? Do you know or you're not sure? Or you believe? I am Aha. part and parcel of the whole universe. Yeah, but are you a brain in a jar? Is it in the universe? Are you yeah. a brain in a jar? Yes. You are. Is that is that a certainty or a belief? It's not a certain. It's not a belief. It's a certainty. So you're definitely a brain in a jar. Highly possible. There you go. That wasn't. That didn't take as long. Does anyone here believe that he's a brain in a jar, other than himself? Anyone believe that I am an uh, illusion? I'm an illusion. 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 I don't believe you're an illusion. Believe that he's an illusion as well. What do you think? He's a fragment. Fragment of my retina. Of I your. Bye bye. <laughs> well, what do you mean bye bye? You, you just said that you're a brain in a jar. Can you prove that? Why do I need to prove that to you? Because you said you're certain. I told you I'm part and parcel of the whole universe. Do you think if the universe is? Are you? The universe is so wide. Are you in the universe? Okay. Does the, uni part and parcel does of the, the universe, universe exist? Let's play philosophy. Come on. Does the universe exist? Yeah, I do not know. You don't know? Yeah, I do not know. Okay. Do you exist? I do not know as well. Okay. But you were certain that you were a brain earlier. Now you're saying you don't know. No, I can change my mind. I think you're mind. contradicting yourself now. I can change my mind. Ah, I see. So, but you did contradict yourself. That means? Nothing to worry about that. Yeah. Okay. So you're not certain about anything. Is there any, Do you believe in objective yeah, truth? Objective truth. Yes. Like what? Yeah. Do you know what's objective truth? Like, like if I die here now, anything you believe is objective truth. Do you believe in it? Yeah, if I jump out of a cliff from a high building, I will die. But you don't exist. How will you die? <laughs> you, I never die. You got trapped by your own point. No, to be honest, I never die. No, but you just said that you, if you jump from a cliff, you'll die. Yeah. Now you're saying you won't die. You seem to be contradicting every second, no, no, not even a minute. My body died, but I never died. No, but you said you don't exist. What do you mean your body died? My body. How can a body that doesn't exist die? That's why I say, I'm eternal, never die. But you don't exist, forget about eternal. Yeah, I'm part and parcel of the universe. Does the universe die? But if you don't exist, what's the point of the universe? Let's not go around in circles. Ah. Let's not go around in circles. <laughs> tell, tell, me, tell me what you want to know. I want to know if you believe in objective truth. If anything out there in the universe, in yourself, is there an objective truth that you believe in? Or you have firm faith in? I just told you, I do not do believe. Okay. I, I don't know. Let's use the term no. Do you know there is an objective truth? And if you, if you say yes, tell me what that is. I'll give you an example. If I jump down from the building, I will die. But what if you don't but exist? If I die, if you don't exist, how can I you die, die? It's my body that is dying. But I, as a spiritual being, having a human experience, will live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So I yours, fear, first you say you're not sure you exist. First you said you're not sure you exist. Now you're you got. Now you're saying you got flesh, and you're a spiritual person as well. I mean, you're all over the place, my friend. Yeah, Let's I start do. again. Do you? Ex
let's start let's start again do you think the universe exists do you know if the universe exists of course i know the universe exists okay do you know that you exist of course i know i exist okay do you know that you uh, you are a flesh or spirit which one is it i'm both you're both can you prove that to us that you're spirit come on you need to explain Oh, don't get his help. You can do it yourself. You're doing fairly well so far, other than a few contradictions. How do you know you're a spirit? Come on, prove it to us. He's a very intellectual man. I've talked to him before. He called me an idiot. I remember talking to him. You know what? Because I let my son, because I said I do not train my children. I let my children flow with the Tao, flow with nature. So, so come on. Nature. I'm part and part. You made a claim that you are spirit. You are spirit and flesh both. Prove to us that you're spirit. No, don't ask me. I'm asking you. I do not need to prove it. You're the one who made the claim. The onus is on you to prove it. I do not know. So why did why did you make a claim something I don't know? No, no, it's not to make me happy. I'm just going by your own rules. You said you anyone who says I believe is a liar. Now you're saying you believe. That means you're not certain. Because, come on, <laughs> yeah, you say if you fall down from a building, yeah. Yeah, I would so die. what happens to your spirit afterwards then? So you, if your my spirit, spirit will still be on earth. On earth? Ha so I don't my spirit will still so be on earth. So we're in on one earth, form so. or another. So I'm trying to think here, yeah, okay, you die, your body dies, but where is the spirit then? So what, what is the spirit doing on earth? So and what's your belief afterwards? You die, your body dies, you're gone. But what's your... Do you... They become a Muslim, like you. <laughs> you be happy? Well, what is a Muslim to you? What is, what is a Muslim to you? How are you a Muslim? A Muslim. What is a Muslim? Somebody who has no foreskin. Who has no foreskin? What about the Jewish people? Same. So are they Muslim? They are, they are a bit crazy. Wait, wait. Are they Muslim? They cut off their foreskin. I don't know why. Well, you. That people is clean. Wait, wait. You are saying the Muslims have no foreskin. What about the Jewish people? Are they Muslim as well? They are copycats. No? Who copied them? The Muslim copied the other Bible. The Bible copied from another one. They are just copycat. Okay, so you made many many uh, assertions. Can you no, prove any copy, of that? They copy from can you prove any of that? But the Egyptians don't do on a baby for eight days old. Can they you can you prove any of that that they have been copied? Google. Ask Google. Do you know Google? My you friend. Google. Oh, Google is your friend? Yeah. Okay. Ask Google. Next time, go ask Google if you are spiritual. Yeah, Let's see okay. if we get an answer. Okay. I will find out Google for you. But the, you copy. But the thing is, Egyptian. but the thing you is, you Bible. you already made a claim before googling that you have spirit, but you can't prove it. So it's a belief. So you lied, because belief means lie. Remember, according to you. That's true as well. So are you a liar? I'm a liar as well. Okay. <laughs> He's shooting himself in the foot. Do you have any problem with that? No, because you're making accusations but, uh, about uh, other people uh, that if you liar. believe you're a liar. This liar do not go around converting people. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Do not, do not, do not, do not tell people they are liars. Did I try to convert you? Do not wait, wait, did, did I try to convert you? I meet a lot of people. No, no, but... Him, for example. <laughs> did, did he try to convert you? <laughs> and I went the other wait, wait. <laughs> did you try to convert him? <laughs> he wants to pray for me. Okay. I need Christ. I need salvation. Okay. Let's... You know, what's your concept on God? No, no, you're going to be God. In the beginning, Man created God. <laughs> okay, let's let's say uh, what's your name? My name is Hashem. What's yours? Jesus. Are you sure? Yeah. You can call me Jesus. No, but, but what's your name? You won't be is that the truth or a lie? You won't be wait, wait. <laughs> is that a truth or a lie that you are Jesus? I'm a liar. <laughs> and do you think that's a good thing? To lie to people. As as I don't kill people. I don't mislead people. It's okay. I can lie to myself. No, but li lie to do you know lie lying is a crime as well in in the court? If you lie in the court, then you would be a criminal. Yeah. You'd be treated like a yeah. criminal. Do, do you know why that is? Because lying can actually cause a lot of problems for people. Yes, not all the time. Maybe yeah, right now I know you're joking. Yes, people, but let's let's, let's let's put the let's, lie, let's put the joke. My, let's, them, isn't it? my friend, let's put the jokes aside. What if there was really a life after death, and a there was from? there was a life after death, and a then life after death. Yes. Okay. All and, right. And and there is God. Okay. And then you will face the consequences okay. of what you have done yeah. in this life. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. What have you prepared for that? How do you want to kill a spirit? Say again? How do you want to kill a spirit? Kill a spirit? Yeah. What do you mean, kill a spirit? Who told you your spirits will die? Who said your soul will die? I'm a spiritual being. 
I know, you but you, you, so you, you made that claim, you, but you can't prove how it. Do you, how do you propose to cure a spirit? No, but I didn't say a spirit will die. Why, why the straw man? Okay, just, okay start, 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 your, start, your, start your, what, your thing again. Okay, my, leave it I said if you die, die, and there really is a life after death, life after and death. there really is God, yeah, really and God. there really is consequences of your yeah. mm -hmm. actions in this world, mm -hmm. what have you prepared for that? I expect an intellectual answer. You make, my, you make my brain thicker too much. Exercise the brain, that's what it is. That's the point. There is life after life after life. There's no death. Okay? But didn't you just There's say if death. you jump off a cliff you die? My body died but I never die. So what does death mean to you? How do you my define death? Died. Why do you say I? Why do you say my body? Because you said it. You also said the same thing. <laughs> he said it, right? Said he said, if I die, sorry, if I jump off a cliff, yes, I die. He yeah, said, I die. die. Yeah, I die. Yeah. My body never, my body died. No, no you say your spirit what never is, died. What is my death? My spirit never died. Okay, yeah, what does death mean? Do you know what death means? The term death, what does it mean? When you have no chi, you die. Sorry, when you have no? Chi. What's that? What's, yeah, you got me. What what's, what's the chi? You rub your hand together. You, see, you, see, you feel any pressure there? I don't know. Rub your oh, you mean the static electricity? Well, you call it static electricity. You rub your hand together. Like you feel the friction. You feel the pressure there. But, negative, but that's physics. Positive, positive, negative, negative, positive, yeah. negative, positive. What about Everything that? Everything is yin yang. Everything is negative, positive, and positive. <laughs> What's that going to do with that? When you death try. die, you die. Tell him, man. Tell him. No, but what is that to you? What? How do you define that? Yeah. I know when you rub your hand, you have static electricity. Okay, but that's physics. What is that going to do with death? Death is bodily death. Yeah, I'm trying to understand from your perspective, what does it mean? I don't know, I haven't died before, have you? Know. You don't have to die to know what death is. Seriously? What? Afterwards. I mean... You mean? You say there's life after life. Have you died before? No, no, hold on. In order for you to know death, the definition of death, do you really think you have to die first? Otherwise you won't know the definition. For example, you're a man. Do you need to be a woman to know the definition of a woman? You don't, do you? Yep, I don't. That's an example of an objective truth for you. Are you a man? I have a quarter pounder. Are you a man? Forget about your quarter pounder. I know you might be hungry. <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. Quarter pounder. You have a quarter pounder? <laughs> I see what it means. <laughs> okay, so are you sure that is the reason you're a man? Is that an objective truth? Well, I have a nipple. And? Yeah. The penis is the... I don't know. Simple. All I ask you is, are you a man? It was a Physically, simple yes and no. Yes. Instead of giving me a biology lesson. Physically, I'm a man. You see that then? Why, why are you going into the circles? So, are you certain about that? Or are you going to change your mind again like that last time? Let's, let's find out, shall we? What? Shall we? No. Hey, oh, you'll be arrested. If you if you do that, you'll be arrested. Be careful what you expose in public. Oh my goodness. And you'll be on camera. <laughs> Caught him with his pants down. I just, I just, I just told you I do not believe. I, I don't know. I do not know. No, but that's why I didn't ask you the term belief. I said, are you certain? You're a because earlier, do you remember earlier I asked you, do you, do you know, do you, do you know there is objective truth? And you were not, and you were not certain. Okay. So if you, if you're certain that you're a man and you got evidence for that, then there's a, that is an objective truth. Okay. Your chromosomes will determine whether you're a male or a female. Simple as that. What's that? I'm a bacteria. I'm a virus. Are you a virus? Are you, are you kidding now? I'm a megatropolis of bacteria germs. So why do you call yourself a man if you're a virus or a bacteria? That is scientific fact. That's what? objective truth. Do you think a bacteria, according to the scientists, is a yeah. man? I'm, that's a scientific fact. I'm a... I got more bacteria. We have, we have gone in into the twilight zone now. I got more bacteria <laughs> in me than my body cell. Yeah, just because you're bacteria doesn't make you bacteria. I'm still a bacteria. If I die, I dis disintegrated to billion and zillion of bacteria. No, it'll be atoms and molecules. Yeah. And atoms and molecules are not bacteria, for your information. Atom and molecule. Good question. I'll find out. The one. Oh yeah, you have to Google, of course. No problem. By the way, we were talking about afterlife, so can you respond to me, please? 
if you die and there is an afterlife and there is God and there is consequences for your actions, what have you prepared for them? Come here, come here. Oh, please. I know his name, but he doesn't know my name. No, no, no. We share the same name. No, no. He's asking me a very intellectual question. It's always a first. I, I, I just can't remember. It's just very spiritual. You know, the last thing I want to do is have a talk with Steve. Yes. I would rather I would rather talk to you than talk okay, to you someone you like him. The questions on to me, no, 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 no. He, He's quite capable of answering by himself. Well, he, but he invited death, me, and nonetheless. Death after death. Well, I'm uninviting how many, how many you. Mics, how many mics have you got I'm, I'm uninviting you, Steve. So well, if you don't mind. Not quite anyway, okay. very nice I'll speaking to you. Thank Take you. care, mate. I didn't know you needed help. I thought Google was your help. <laughs>